Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's first question is what type of bonds are backbone in secondary protein structure and you can choose one of these answers. Take a look at this picture and here you see two secondary structure which amino acid chain can make and one is alpha helix another one is beta pleated sheet and here is the molecular structure of alpha helix and molecular structure of beta pleated sheet and you can right away see that both the structures are due to uh, interaction between amino group of one amino acid and carboxylic group of another amino acid so both these groups would be attracted by different charges. Carboxylic group would have negative charge and amino group is going to have positive charge. So here we have hydrogen bounding and the same is true for beta pleated sheets. Again here we have hydrogen bounding between amino group of one amino acid and carboxylic group of another amino acid. So now we can choose the correct answer which is answer E. And next question which of the following amino acids is least likely to be found in the middle of an alpha helix. And our choices are mesionine, proline, serine and glutamic acid. Now take a look at this picture and you see here tripeptide. One is leucine, another proline and here is a glycine. Between proline and glycine we see here peptide bond and this peptide bond is going to be a source of the positive and negative charge for hydrogen bonding between uh, molecule backbone in order to make a beta pleated sheet or in order to make alpha helix. Here we see our group of glycine, here is our group of the leucine and here is our group of the proline. Take a look. We start with alpha carbon and then you see it cycles on itself and from this point of view this peptide bond as you see those having negative charge at the carboxylic group, carboxylic group here but doesn't have positive charge at this amino group and if such amino acid would be integrated in alpha helix it's going to disrupt this pattern of hydrogen bonds and also if you would look at the alpha helix from the top you will find that it makes 3.6 amino acids per one turn but if we integrate proline then it also disrupts its structure physically because it is most rigid amino acid and the structure of the alpha helix from the top is going to look like this. So also angle would be more sharp here and it would look like a dent on the surface of the alpha helix. So the presence of this amino acid just disrupt the repetitive nature of alpha helix. So those proline still sometimes can be found in the alpha helix still it is least likely to be found if we compare with the other amino acids. So this is going to be our choice. Proline is going to be least likely found in the alpha helix. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.